All right, guys. Today we have the Pistol X68, and we got this new HPA adapter um, from Sterling Self Defense. dot com. Um, yeah, it's got the pin. It's got the HPA threads here. Um, it's got the slot for the O-ring. So yeah, we're just gonna basically, it's fairly straight simple, just plug it in and you're good to go. Um, this is a degassing ASA on off. Um, yeah, yeah, this is just a quick installation of this, so. Uh, you just get your Allen key out. I got my finger on the trigger, of course. Just in case. <clears throat> there, I heard that little click. Yeah, the ball won't shoot out. <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay, so basically, you can just leave everything like that. I just shot 40 rounds out of a drum, so I'm going to lube this up uh, after, but... Yeah, so basically, you put your O-ring back on there, and then... You put your O-ring on here, the other one, the O-21, and then that's the O-11. So, yeah, basically, it's right here. Um, you got your O-11, and then the O-21. I think this one here is a 12.5 millimeter, 90 Duro Buna O-ring, what I'm using now. Um, oh... Which box do I have it in? I have it in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I have to dig the O-rings out, so I'm not even going to bother. I'll just show you basically what to do. So basically, we just, once you get your O-rings back, you just stick it back in. And then, yeah, guys, see, he's got a slot milled out here. Um... This doesn't have one. It just butts up against that. So, Dan was telling me that, or in his videos, he said that it wobbles like this back and forth, and then you can get leaks uh, that way. Um, I don't get any leaks no more since I, I just recently had a leak up in the on the bolt, the tip. I fixed the O-ring, and now we're good. I just shot a 40-round drum. Um... But yeah, if you notice, he has a spot that corrects that wobble. Um, if you can notice right here, there's a little lip. And it just fits in there nicely, right into the bolt. So once it goes in, it eliminates that wobble. So that O-ring will never dislodge. I don't know if I can see that good. I have a, there's like a little clamp thing in the middle of the screen. But yeah, guys, see right here where it comes in and out? Boom, now there's no more wobble. So yeah, basically, what you got? Screw this back in. There, screw it all the way in. And we got an HPA adapter, so now we can install a buttstock tank. You see my configuration, I had it out down here. Um, for those of you who don't know, it just, you unscrew the degassing cap and this screws up in here. And then it's got an ASA on off. It's a solid connection so it doesn't turn. And then you can put your tank in here and same thing, I've got adapters here for 88 gram, um, 25 gram CO2s, and now the Drinkmates uh, CO2s. These are like a 5.1 CI, I believe they're, Sean Kemper said. Probably seen these in his videos. He's probably the first one, I think, to show them off. 
But I have an adapter for these too because these have a T21 thread. It's only two big giant threads. But yeah, I'll show that in a minute. Um, so yeah, if you want to use the drink mates, you're going to need one of these. It's a TR21-4. I'm not sure you guys can see that there. Anyways, yes. So, you can get these on Amazon and AliExpress. Uh, they're for the soda streams. The soda stream to HPA. So, yeah, this will go in here. Well, Kemper's got one of these in his. Sean Kemper from Less Legal for Dummies. He has one of those, one of those in there. Alright, so... Uh, basically, that'll just screw in there. And I don't want to gas it up, so... Even that, that's super short. <laughs> so, yeah, basically this... Um, I'm going to use these on different markers I have, like the shotguns and stuff, but... I'm going to turn them into HPA tanks eventually, but... I don't know, I might test one out in here, I don't know yet. We'll see. But anyways, yeah, so you got that adapter, and then this is the exact same one, but it'll fit into a 88 gram thread instead of a uh, HPA thread. So yeah, if you want to get a on-off, then you would screw this guy in, or any one you have. This is a degasser, so I don't really need this one. I probably have to use a different one. And then yeah, just... I'm just using this as an example, so you don't have to use it. You can use the ones with the screw knobs on. Probably be more ideal for CO2. I'm not sure how this works, but... Yeah, so now we can screw this back in here. Actually, you know what? I don't know if this will stop it or if it will come out the side here. Um, so yeah, it's best off to use the knob ones. But if you're just going to use CO2, then yeah, it's no point. But if you have this loaded with HPA, I'm not sure. I'm going to do a test with the HPA. I'm not going to blow all the CO2 to test because these are new. But we'll figure that out. Alright, so. Now we just take that out. Now we can put our normal. Uh, I've already shown that a 9CI tank without this extra air chamber or air plenum because your air chamber is in here the co2 tube that's pretty much your air chamber so every time you as soon as you gas the marker up or turn the knob on your asa you turn the knob and you hear the click or whatever the wheat and it got airs up so basically every time you gas up you'll hear the click um what that is is from your air chamber uh, when you get the air screwed in down here, what happens is, is it'll fill that little plenum space up in here, and then when you pull the trigger, it'll release that plenum, and then that's your first shot, and then it'll just keep filling that space back up in here, kind of like a PCP gun. But then here, this here is a, like in PCP guns, you can buy a plenum extension, like a power plenum extension, so it's usually a bigger part that you put in. I think if you put it either in front or behind the regulators. I got a couple of them too. I still haven't installed in mine. I got I got uh, from Huma Air. But yeah, like basically that's what's happening. So the air is coming from your air chamber or your tank source. And then it's filling up the plenum. And then that plenum gets released as soon as you pull the trigger. And then it gets filled back up again. And then poof, it's all ready. So it's charged up and ready to go. And then poof, and then you release it. And then it, comes from your, it draws from your main air source or your air chamber. But like PCP guns have their... Got a great big air chamber underneath and then it's got the plenum inside um inside the tube near the front up in somewhere around here usually but yeah man um let's make sure this pins out and uh we got 40 shots out of one of these so i don't think we're going to get even near that on this because this is going to take a lot more air but if i can get it to shoot just one of my 25 round drums then that's perfect for me. I'm just setting this up now. I want to see how it is in shoulder. 
Oh yeah, it's still nice and tight. It's not bad. Now I want to see how a 13 CI feels. <coughs> like this is absolutely crazy power, lethal power. Like if it's the same hundred drills like he has, but I'm not, I don't have the long barrel like him, so. Um, he sent me another steel barrel. It's like two inches longer, and then there's another one. It's about an inch and a half longer. Like the max I got from them was 64 jewels on a 12 gram and shit. So, but yeah, I'm just checking out this. Uh, there's a 13 CI tank now. So, this is a bit longer, but it's any more than this, and it wouldn't be comfortable for me. So, I'm okay with this if we get in the carbine setup. So, yeah, you put a butt stock on that. I mean, I like, like for look wise and stuff, uh, I like to go down here through here because it keeps it controlled. No matter what air source you use, going through this way, um, you get the same. It's always the same. I get 88 gram, 25 gram. I use 1100 PSI, 12 grams. Uh, it all gives me 51 joules with the stock set up. In a certain ammo, like Grindberg Jewel V2s. So, yeah, guys. Um, but, yeah, it's yeah, here's a drum I got. Like, if I put this back in a, the attack carbine, so now I got a drum and a stock. Just shoulderized now. I'll show it off in the videos, but... Uh, Holy crap, man. That looks like it's going to be crazy in power. Um, so, yeah. Here, I got my one of the barrels I got from him. Uh, this is like a module barrel and stuff. So, kind of modular. And this is the Home Defense 24 suppressor. Uh, I have a... What do you call it? One of those um, decibel readers now. So I'm going to actually test this one out, but it sounds different, but I'm not sure if it's any less louder because this only has three baffles in it. Um, so yeah, it comes with three baffles. Like if you got a baffle head to toe, it'll make a, the more you got in, the more air you catch, the more quieter it'll be. But um, yeah. Yeah. So that fits in the carbine I have perfectly, and it just comes out just perfectly on the tip of that Umarex TAC carbine. But here's the thing now. If I want to go down that route, I have to... Here's my stock I got on it. So now I have to cut this stock off, and then my holes got to come out here for the tank. I have another one down here on the floor that's already cut. I use that for my HDP build and as you can see I've already got a hole here cut out for it so that'll go in the back of there and it looks like it lines up perfectly if not I can always dremel a bit more out but yeah we can get that on here um, give us some more rail space yeah, and then a nice stock on there. We'll make a nice, really nice carbine. Um, that's going to be super powerful, man. Like, <laughs> he said, I'm pretty sure his video, he, he showed his chronograph. He was getting around 95, 98, maybe joules with a six inch barrel. So, holy shit, that looks similar to what this is. <laughs> Yeah, so I might, yeah, definitely I'm not cutting this stock off. So I'm going to just, I'm going to have to work the top rail to get this in. I have to do some Dremel work on it still to make this pistol fit. But yeah, that's another project I'm going to be doing coming soon. Um, yeah, guys, uh, if you want to see the dual drum, I have two drums mounted together and then you can just reload and kind of just spin around and reload but you need like a, a big source of air you need like at least like a 25 gram 
CO2 is good for a single drum of 25. So even a 38 gram would be too, it probably wouldn't be a much, but an 88 gram all day. Um, and we've seen this 9CI tank, we shot off 40 shots. And like the last six, you can really hear it, the last five or so, six. Like I probably dropped around 10. So yeah, you get about, I don't know. The last shots aren't the same powerful. So as soon as you drop below your PSI output, then you'll start going lower. Just like CO2 drops. But yeah, guys, that's how easy it is. The Sterling self-defense plug. Uh, I pretty much all of them that you get, that it's as easy as plugging this in and out. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, Next video, you see, we're going to be doing, we're going to run a test on this, a power test. Um, I've got all decent O-rings in here. It seems to be shooting really good now. I kept getting my bolt uh, on the stock O-ring. It would dislodge. Even after lubing, it would still dislodge. And it would get jammed. And then I couldn't get it out. I was pushed it and pushed it with a wooden stick. And kept tapping it. I forgot it that way once. And then put it in. Changed the O-ring for the cheap ones that I had sitting around. And... Uh, yeah, every time, every o I had here that went in, just kept doing the same thing. So, instead of pushing it back out the back end, I was able to push it forward and lodge the O-ring back in, and then I could push it out. What I used are, um, the regulator kits on Amazon, they come with, like, I don't know, like, four different O-rings inside of it. And, uh, they get, come in 25 or 50 packs, but... It wasn't the actual O-ring that goes in the tip here. It was the next size down. I used that on the tip of the bolt and it's shooting like a dream now. But anyways, I'm pretty sure others have seen that. And, um, if your bolt's getting jammed, that's what it is. It's that bolt tip O-ring like that. Uh, at least it was for me anyway. <clears throat> yeah, guys, this is an ADN drum. Uh, Sterling the self-defense barrel. HD24 uh, degasser ASA on off. This is a tank from them too. A suppressor from them too. This is the Sterling Self Defense mod. You guys see him blasting 150 joules with. I, I, I think this is the 150 joule and I don't know. But uh, in order to get the 150 joules, you're going to need a longer barrel, like a 16 or something in total. I got, I don't know what the stock is, and plus this extra, it might be six, six and a half, I don't know. But anyways, guys, yeah, man, we'll see you then in the next one. Uh, Y'all stay safe, guys, take care.